A new warning this morning about the speed of the spread of Omicron in Europe. The World Health Organization is saying more than half of the people on that continent could be infected within just six weeks. That amounts to more than 200 million people. Let's go to Bristol, England. Dominic Valaitis, our reporter there, who has the latest details. Good morning, Dominic. Good morning, Heather. Yes, it's a startling projection, isn't it? And another reminder, really, of just how transmissible the uh, Omicron variant is. That forecast that half of Europe will catch COVID in the next six to eight weeks is based on the millions of new cases which have already been uh, reported across the continent this year, which, of course, is barely two weeks old. Here's a little more uh, from the World Health Organization's Europe director, Dr Hans Kluge. The Omicron variant represents a new west-to-east tidal wave sweeping across the region on top of the delta surge that all countries were managing until late 2021. The region saw over 7 million newly reported cases of COVID-19 in the first week of 2022, more than doubling over a two-week period. Heather, uh, Omicron has really spread through Europe like wildfire. You heard Dr. Kluge there saying how cases uh, have doubled uh, in a two-week period. And he went on to say that 50 of 53 countries in Europe and Central Asia have now reported cases of this particular variant. And although Delta is still very much out there uh, in the community, Omicron is very quickly becoming the dominant strain in Europe. And as we've been hearing from the WHO, it's going to infect a lot of people in the coming weeks. Heather. As is the case here, Dominic, it is hospitalization data that is really key now. Case numbers are, you know, so widespread that they're focusing on hospitalizations here. And I'm wondering if that's the case there in Europe as well. And if so, what is happening for hospitals? Yeah, it is indeed. And, and, and although Omicron, we now know, is less likely to cause severe disease, severe illness, as we're seeing, it is still highly contagious and can infect people um, if even if they're fully vaccinated. Hospital admissions, Heather, uh, are rising as a result. That is putting intense pressure on healthcare systems across Europe. We're seeing that here in the UK, where combined with staff absences due to COVID, a number of hospitals have had to declare critical incidents. But we're also seeing healthcare systems under pressure in France, Poland and Russia, where there are now concerns that the daily number of new COVID cases could soon hit 100,000 a day. The message from the WHO, uh, Heather, is that this pandemic is far from over. It says it's too soon uh, for countries to be treating COVID as an endemic illness, as some uh, rather optimistic politicians here have recently suggested, because there is still a huge amount of uncertainty regarding the spread of Omicron at the moment. Heather. Thank you very much. Dominic Volaitis in Bristol, England.